Hello YouTube. Today I'm at um, a calorie, a um, family reunion, and I was wandering around, and here's a little bird nest of robins. So I'm just going to show you them. It's going to be a short video. You can see what the nest is made out of: mud and different grasses of the region. We have a lot of field around us, so they have a lot of stuff to choose from when building their nest. The mother is not around, and I hope that leaf wasn't in your view. We're just going to take a nice little look at the babies and then leave the mom be because I could hear her yelling. I didn't expect to be babies in here. See them hunkered down. They still have some down on them, but in a few weeks they will be fledging soon. I believe there are still dud eggs in there. I can't really see. I'm not going to pull it down any farther. Let me try to get you guys closer. So yeah, they're cute and fluffy. And yeah, that's what their nest is made out of. I know in the city I dissected a robin nest before and it was filled with plastics and cloth and other stuff. So this is a really nice nest. So yeah, the mom's getting mad, so I'm gonna have to go. So see you in the next video. Hello YouTube. I am still at the reunion and I'm I a very nice meadow where a small creek runs through. So I'm just going to be going through and showing you some of the plants here. So first we have this grass. I have no clue what species it is, but you can see there's a whole lot of it. Then we have some thistle here. Very good nectaring plants for some of the smaller butterflies. We have wild grape, a host plant for some butterflies and moths. And also a good food source when it blooms and actually has grapes on it for birds and other animals. Then we have some large Queen's Anne's Lace, a host species for the eastern black swallowtails. And also with some more fennel. I mean, not fennel. Look, you see a cabbage white flying for the black swallowtail. And then we have, let me get to a better spot. But yeah, that is common milkweed like I have in my backyard. We have lots more grass. More common milkweed than I don't know what the taller plant is behind it. Probably some sort of cone flower. Another cabbage white. Now we have probably the one plant that I was growing, the, my little project. This is swamp milkweed. Another important food source for the monarchs. You can see the nice little white flowers. They come in white and pink, and this population is white. So yeah, lots of species use this. Monarchs use this, and there's tussock moths and milkweed beetles. They all use it. Yeah, we're just walking along. At the end there, I'll show you something really kind of terrifying more milkweed and thistle of some variety. This is a different variety. I don't know what it is. If you could tell me the variety, that'd be awesome. More common milkweed. Poison ivy. So I'm not trying to get close to that. There's some more poison ivy. That is something scary. Some trees and bushes and shrubs. Lots of Queen's Anne's lace. Some more looks like cone flowers. More common milkweed. More. There goes the church bells. There's a church behind me. More milkweed. More. More. A little bit more of the swamp. There are some rocks back here. Maybe there might be something living in them. No, nothing. Not even a spider. It's so dry and hot today, so. More swamp and common milkweeds. Nice open field with lots of little bushes. This one? No, that's just more common swamp. This is just a good place for them. Then we have more common. You can see where some of the beetles have been at it. 
eating away, but I don't know where they went, so I can't show them to you, sadly. Then we're just walking along more, more poison ivy, big tall bushes of it. More common, looks like this has been eaten more. But old eatings. If I bump the camera there. More poison ivy, more common that's about to bloom. Then on this one you can see there's a really odd vein pattern except one big vein it splits off into two. Then there was another leaf that did this. Oh here we go. You see how it splits off into two different leaves? If you could tell me why that'd be nice because I've never seen that before. And then we reach poison ivy heaven with milk, swamp milkweed and common milkweed mixed in. There's a little cabbage white there. I don't know what it's doing back there. Probably looking for nectar. And then fields of corn. And that is all for this meadow. If you see some plants that you know, please tell me with a short description like this tall grass is a little bit different. That's a little bit different. And yeah, that is all. So remember to like and subscribe. And that is it.